Greetings, my name is Dennis Daniels, and this is a repeat of a uh, trick I found to speed the assignment grading process in Moodle using the assign uh, downloader using Firefox 1.5. I would consider downloading this video because of the font size considerations of the applications as well as um, the browser. Requirements, get rid of Internet Explorer and get Firefox 1.5. Um, Internet Explorer is so primitive. After you use Firefox, you'll know why. Uh, extension. I'm using extension down them all. I've got a serious problem. I have to grade all of these documents right here. I don't want to open them individually. It's not efficient nor very managerial-like. And if you're a teacher worth your weight and salt, like I am, you don't have time to waste on clicking. You want something to do it for you. Modal doesn't unfortunately provide that for you um, in terms of handling lots of documents, but uh, there are always workarounds. I use down them all. You can see it right there. Let me click up here and you can see it better. Down them all, which is a, an extension, tools, extensions, like that. Down them all, where is it? Down them all, the map downloader for Firefox. Let me see if there's any updates. They're updating it fairly often. <coughs> uh, looks like everything is good. Nothing to update. Oh, well, I, did. I just did it recently, so I'm not surprised. So, uh, that's good. I'm going to close this. Now I'm going to right click, down them all, and I'm going to put a filter in here. Additional filters, PPT. And now when I scroll through this, I should find, there it is, all of my filters with PPTs in them. Now, uh, that's all well and good, and I wanted to point out, again, files, when you're downloading the files, if students don't include their, f their names in the files, it's a problem. You don't remember who they are, and they don't necessarily put their names in the um, in the titles. And yes, teachers, you will all say, or teachers and or I will say, you need to include more instructions. Well, face it, students don't follow instructions just like adults don't follow instructions. So um, having the system set up so that each file is prepended with a student's name or student's ID would greatly uh, make the grading process more pleasurable. That said, let's go ahead and download it, start the downloads, and you can see that it's busy doing it, and we'll go ahead and take a look at this one, let's see where it went, I'm not quite sure what happens when I double click it, oh, double clicking opens it, let's see what the properties are, open target directory, let's take a look, where did it go, oh, it's being dropped on the desktop, okay, so I should have checked my preferences to see where the documents go and start download in temporary directory alright where does it say that it's going to download it renaming filter renaming oh I could set a prepend but that would only be for the whole folder uh... non started remove main okay doesn't tell me where it went or give me an easy way of knowing where it went but we won't worry about that too much. Let's go to the desktop and there are all my folders, all my documents right here. Um, so right click, right click, I'll hit the s right click, there it is, explore, we'll go to the desktop and here are my files, Microsoft PowerPoint, click click, and here they are. Here are all my PowerPoint documents and one of the benefits of looking at having all the files here back into let's close that going back to this place here it doesn't give the file size so um, being able to scan down the list I can see who's done work and who hasn't this one for example I know he hasn't done the work that one's a little s a little problematic. That one's probably problematic. So just by s quickly scanning file size, 
uh, you can take a pretty good guess at whether or not the student has done the work in its entirety. So let's uh, revisit that. Suggestions. Uh, assignment should have auto UID data in front of it. Um, and that makes it very easy for using text scripts for spell and word count. And let's also add in here prepend student name for ID to uploaded files. Control S, save, F5. F5. So, well, you can't read it. Oh, so you can read it here. Let's reduce that file. Let's reduce this font down. Right, can't do it while we're playing. And now we'll try it. We'll try it. Here we go. I'm reducing the file size or the font size down to something more reasonable. Okay, and F5 again. Prepend student names or IDs at uploaded files. Uh, users and developers, create your own screencasts. There's lots to do with Moodle. Um, a lot more to be done. Uh, why am I doing it? Technology accelerates learning and uh, if you are skilled in technology it can reduce your workload and if you're an overworked teacher that's a very important feature. Developed, uh, not finding too much difference between the developed and developing world. They share the same problems, mostly lack of technology and lack of electricity won't get into the whys and wherefores of that. I do want to uh, uh, tell you that you can help uh, promote computers in the classroom. LTSP is a great cheap alternative. Uh, share the wealth of your own knowledge. Create and publish your own screencasts. And uh, I want to thank you. My name is Dennis Daniels. And happy computing. <laughs>